Well, he was once voted least likely to get a girlfriend. Now he's helping men meet women. This master of attraction joins us next with some tricks of the date and trade. <laughs> Welcome back to more 4 o'clock. Okay, he is known as America's number one pickup artist. Now, Adam Lyons is joining us with dating tips for those unlucky in love. Adam, Hi. how are you? Very well, thanks very much. Thanks for having me. From London, now you're in Austin, Texas. So, yeah. what's dating like from Texas into London? <laughs> um, it, it's amazing. I think the best thing about it is the weather's so much better, which makes everyone friendlier. I mean, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, London's going through this real cold spell at the moment. So, you can just imagine everyone's all wrapped up and bundled up. And See, Adam was in London. The guys were very friendly. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? It's one of those things. I think um, English people aren't really used to going out and talking to people. America Americans tend to be really open, yeah. so actually it's a really nice place to work. Um, it's definitely a lot easier this side of the pond. So, yeah, well, i got to ask fun. you, I think it's very surprising that you are now the number one pickup artist because, honey, you had the geek trifecta back in high school. You <laughs> were a fan of Star Wars, Star Trek, and you played Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, There's no wonder true. you never got a date. No, Come on, no, all seriously, three? I know, it's really bad, and the worst thing is I'm still doing it. That, that's, <laughs> it's terrible, I know, but I'm happy to. Well, I met your gorgeous <laughs> wife, so I know whatever you changed or whatever you did works. So I know guys out there would love to know. It's the new year. What are they doing wrong? What is your advice to guys? This is a big nightlife bar scene. What do you think? Wait, okay, the number one thing is everyone tries to get their wing man. They're getting it all wrong. It's your wing woman. Oh. Going out with a girl as your partner makes everything so much easier. The other girls are going to think you're instantly already dating this person, so they're going to feel comfortable talking to you. Plus, the wing woman can put in good words with you. The girls can go to the toilet together to talk <laughs> about you. There's so many benefits from going out with girls rather than guys. So the first thing is, ditch the dudes, hang out with girls. Just make sure the other women know that you're not with that girl. That exactly. you are still available. Okay. And the best thing is, they can drop that in. They can be, oh no, I'm taken, but I would love to be with him. Have you met my friend? Exactly. exactly. Yeah, okay, it makes that's it so much easier. So that's number one. All right. Okay. The second thing is, um, you want to make sure that you're responding to what the other person says. So many guys make the mistake of either not listening to what someone says to them and uh, just changing the topic of conversation or telling them how great they are sure. that they don't actually listen to what the girl says. So again, make sure you're doing that. Um, otherwise, you're never going to get anywhere, really. Okay, perfect. What's another tip you've got okay, for guys? Finally, and this is probably the most important one. If there was one word, that meant that you were going to be good with women. I think everyone would say it was confidence. Okay. But there's actually a better word, and that's approach. If you're not taking the time to actually go up to girls and say that you're interested, then your chance of success are going to drastically reduce. So go out there and actually get talking to people. But it's got to be hard because there's so much pressure for the guys. There's the fear of rejection. You know, I mean, I always feel like as, as a, a woman, if a guy comes up to you and approaches you, if they're nice and friendly about it, always be, always be sweet back because that takes a lot of nerve. It you does. Know? It takes a lot of guts to go up there and do it. But it's funny enough, once you start doing it, it's actually really easy. Easy. And the easiest way to do it is go out and to five people you've never met before, just give them a compliment. Just be, oh my gosh, I want to say your hair is beautiful. After you've done that to five people, you're going to find five very happy people. And suddenly you think, oh, actually, talking to people isn't so bad. <laughs> and then it makes it a lot easier. Yes, honey, flattery will get you everywhere with women. Exactly. Trust me. Yeah. Okay, what about for women? I mean, there's a lot of single ladies out there, you know, may not feel comfortable about approaching men. How do you make it more easy for guys to approach you? Or should we be bold and go up to guys too? Well, you know what? This is really funny. The whole thing works in reverse. So if girls really want to go out and meet guys, hang around a bunch of dudes. The guys can start talking to other dudes about sports and you know whatever's on TV, and then they just bring them back into the group. Next thing you know, you've got the one girl starts flirting with the guy, and it's easy done. Great tips, Adam. Great of course, course, you have got your involved. You've got the book. Give us yeah, some people the book. What's the, what's the yeah, title? Yeah, the Diary of a Pickup Artist. The Diary of a Pickup Artist. You also travel around with the seduction school, so you got you know all the tips in the trade. You know? Yeah, we got uh, PUA training. We literally travel to a different state every week, um, helping out guys uh, and girls occasionally with their own dating problems. Excellent. We're gonna have all the information about Adam and his book on our website. For more dating tips, head to Adam's website too. It's called PUA, which is Pickup Artist, of course, training.com. Again, we'll have a link on our website. Adam, congrats. Thank Happy you New so Year. Much. Enjoy Cheers. yourself Happy in New Vegas, Year. all right? Thanks for having me. Aaron, Cheers. you never used cheat. You're engaged now, so you didn't pick up your fiance with a, a dumb line, did you? No, I didn't. I was going to say, Adam is very smooth. He is. He's definitely on top of his crack.